you ever want to unleash the artist in you? Two of Canva's photo editing apps let you do just that. I'm going to do two videos on this. And the first one is the app called Paint Effects. Let me go and share my screen now and we'll take a look. I'm on my home screen. And in case you haven't seen one of my other videos on photo editing apps, I'll just go to where you find apps if you're in your home screen. You just go to Discover Apps and you click on that. And then you can go to Photo Editing. And the one we're going to look at today is Paint Effects. And as you can see, you can achieve lots of different effects with this. You can restyle your image into a painting powered by the magic of AI, artificial intelligence, and then you can blend it to adjust the intensity of your image. I can clearly go from here and just click use it in a design, but I already selected an image. So I'm going to go to that and show you how it works. This is my image mixed between the new year, thinking forward to the next year, and leaving Christmas behind. And to get to the apps from the design screen, you can simply click on your image, go to edit image, and all the amazing photo editing options will appear down the side. I'm going to scroll down to the paint effects, which is here, and I'm going to click on see all. And as you can see, there are 11 different paint effects that you can have, which is incredible. I'm just going to go through these quickly for you so you can see the effect that all of them have, because they're quite individual. The first one is mosaic. As you can see, it creates a very mosaic effect on the image. Here on your left hand side, you can say it says see controls where you have these bars and circles. If I click on that, I can change the intensity and make it low, medium or high. If I start to pull this, you can see it changing the intensity of the image as we're doing it and returning it more to the state of the photo that it was. The other way of doing that is just to click on low. And you can see it's a much less intense image, but not as low as if you move the bar down. And then you have high, which will take it to the limit of the intensity that you can have. And you can see that's very much more intense. I can reset the image here. And as with all photo editing apps, I just simply need to click apply to use it. And we'll have that at its high intensity. As there are 11 different paint effects for you to choose from, I'm simply going to repeat my image so you can see how they look together. And to do that, in case you don't know, all I have to do is take this page and then just duplicate it. And just click and click. And I'll wait till I get to 11. It's so easy just to duplicate an image or a layout or whatever you've actually designed. And now we have 11. So let's click back onto edit image and paint effects again which because I've just used it, is now at the top of my screen. I can just click on that. And the second effect that we're going to look at is Windle. That looks quite browny, so we'll see what happens there. I'm not going to go over the controls every time because they're identical for all of these paint effects. Let's look at the next one, which is Maya. Then move on to our fourth. You may have noticed I often forget to click apply, but it still adds the photo editing effect to the image. I'll try to remember. Here's Trigon, which has given us a very intense colored effect. And I will click apply to that one. The fifth effect we're going to look at is Retrato. And now I've reminded myself, you can see I'm remembering to click apply. Onto our sixth effect. This is Stenzel, which clearly is going to make it into a black and white image. And you can see it's a very black and white mosaic type effect. Onto our seventh one. You do have to keep going back into paint effects every time you go to edit a new image. Let's try Punto. Our eighth effect is Seafoil. I've had this message a couple of times. I don't know whether it is my connection or whether just because I'm asking it to do so many different paint effects, it's just getting a bit fed up with me. What I found is that when I try again, it seems to work. Don't get too concerned if you get that message. Just try again. Back to Seafoil. You can see how different these are making my image. We're now down to our last three. And this is Palo.
And the penultimate one is Barker, which looks quite dark. And it has come out very dark. And then on to our final effect, which is vitro. I'm now going to change this to a grid view, so all the images that we've done can be seen easily. And to change it to a grid view, you go down to where it says 11 here, in this stacked area, click on that, and this grid view comes up. And you can see all 11 of the paint effects here. Paint effects is available whether you have a free or a paid for Canva Pro account. And if you'd like to try Canva Pro, I will put a link below, which takes you to an offer to try it free, which will help you explore all the additional benefits you get from a pro account. Also below here, I'll put the links to the other photo editing videos that I have done, so you can compare and look at some of the different options you have to edit your photos in Canva. I hope that helps, and I'll see you next week.